What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm gonna show you the easiest possible way to edit and upload 360 videos to your YouTube channel or Facebook page using the Samsung Gear 360 camera. And the reason why I chose the Samsung Gear 360 camera was because it's by far the most user-friendly. It was promoted uh, by Casey Neistat. His video of the Oscars in 360 was amazing. Now I had the Fly 360 camera and the Kodak 360 camera and I returned them both because the quality wasn't that great and then you would have to buy two cameras, mount them back to back on this rig to get the same quality or to get the same uh, full 360 video effect that the Samsung Gear 360 has to offer. And as you can notice, there's two 4K cameras built into this small camera unit and it has two microphones you can record in stereo and you can even take 360 pictures in 30 megapixel quality. My Samsung S7 phone, even the iPhone 7, does not even take pictures in 30 megapixel quality. That's pretty amazing stuff. You can even record in 60 frames per second, which I did on a roller coaster ride. I'm gonna show you that right now. I recorded myself on the roller coaster at Bush Gardens. And it was super easy to do. I just had this in my pocket like so. Put my hand through the Samsung wrist strap, pulled it out, grabbed onto that tripod handle and faced the uh, LCD toward me and pressed record. It was that easy. And you wanna make sure the LCD is facing toward you because whatever is coming out of this camera lens is what the YouTube viewers are first gonna experience. This is pretty much the center of the 360 footage. What you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and select those three dots, the menu, and then click on quality. And then you wanna scroll down to 1440p, 60 frames per second. Select that resolution so you get the best resolution so you guys get an idea how good it looks. And you can, um, using the gyro sensor in your phone, you can look left, up, down, right, you look down, see the ground. You look up, see the clouds. And you can see me recording right there. It's pretty amazing. And then if you tap on the screen and you see that icon right there, that's the VR headset mode. Click on that. Now you're in VR headset mode. And then you can put it in a VR headset like this one. This is $25. It comes with a Bluetooth remote controller and you use that to navigate through your 360 videos in YouTube. And click on, I believe uh, you click on A to select your video. You just put your phone in there, it clamps in, close it up, and then you can view it in um, 3D and virtual reality. Look up, down, left, and right. Pretty awesome. But if you have the Samsung S6 or S7 phone or even the Note 5, I highly suggest getting the Samsung VR headset. It has touch sensitive controls right here. You can tap on that to select. It has a home button, back button, focus dial right here. This is a second generation headset. It has bigger eye lenses to, um, to make it easier on your eyes. And a microfiber cloth cushion right here. And you just plug in your phone right here. And that slides in into that port right there. And just clamp it in. Pretty cool stuff. And this is a really good headset. It's powered by Oculus. You get um, Netflix and virtual reality and Hulu and virtual reality for free. Those are apps, but of course you have to pay for the service. Now more about the camera. This camera comes with this tripod and you can open it up and put it on your dashboard. It has rubber feet. It comes with this wrist strap. You can remove this and you can put it on a selfie stick right here. And it has a timer, so you can press um, record or you could press a, a pitching taking button right here it'll give you a countdown of three seconds before it takes a picture or you could change that um, to, to, um, instantly to turn it on you press and hold down the power button which is also the back button if you're in the menu settings this is the back button now this is the bluetooth connection if you have a solid blue light that means your uh, camera is connected via bluetooth to your samsung phone if you don't have a samsung phone no problem you can use this camera independently you'll notice right here you have two red led lights that are solid that lets you know that this camera lens is active and this camera lens is active now if you only have one red led 
then that means that camera lens is active only. To enter the menu, you press on this top button right here, which is also the Bluetooth button. Select that, and you'll notice that we're in picture taking mode. All right, now if you want to take it out of the picture taking mode, you press on the menu and press it again a couple of times, and then leave it on that, and then you're in camcorder mode. Now let's go ahead and enter settings. Go into settings right here, and select, and then you go through the settings right here. You change the timer, the auto power off, uh, format the whole thing, which erases all the data, and switch lens. We're in dual lens, which is 360 mode. You can switch it to single lens, which is the front, and see how that red LED turned off, and this one's on. And then you can switch that. Let's put it back in 360 mode, which is dual lens. Okay, and I'm gonna show you the resolution too. So go into settings and go to video settings. So um, the resolution is, uh, we got 1280p, 60 frames per second, 1280p, 30 frames per second, uh, 960p, 30 frames per second, which is above, it's between 720p and 1080p. And then you got 4K resolution, 30 frames per second. If you're recording a parade, I suggest recording in 4K. If you're recording, um, let's say you're on a roller coaster, then I suggest recording in 60 frames per second. It's gonna give you a nice smooth video quality. And let's go ahead and press record. Only thing you have to do is press this top button. All right, and you wanna make sure you hold the camera this way, LCD is facing you, because this is what the people are gonna first see out of coming out of this camera lens. Let's stop it. Um, let's go ahead and open up the, this door right here so I can show you more. This camera is dust proof and water resistant. And I know that for a fact because I went on Congo River Rapids, we went right through a waterfall, and this camera and I were drenched, and that camera kept on recording, no problem. I'll leave a um, link in the video description below of the 4K resolution footage and the 60 frames per second uh, footage, as well as the, um, me going through the waterfall to show you that it is definitely water resistant. Uh, now, if you see this door, you'll see a rubber seal that you know stops, of course, water and dust. Let's move that latch over. You can remove the battery. The battery uh, will give you about an hour and a half to close to two hours of uh, constant power but I had this for the whole entire day at Bush Gardens and it lasted all throughout the day because I turned it off every time I was done using it and this is where you plug in your charging cable and also it acts as a um, data transfer if you connect it to your, your PC and this does not have any onboard storage so you have to have you have to buy a micro SD card when you buy this camera so make sure you do that and I bought what did I buy I got a 64 gig Samsung micro SD card and that gives me over four hours of footage. So when you turn it on right here You can take your phone when you download the Samsung gear 360 app It's gonna walk you through connecting it via Bluetooth. You can select mobile device This is all your footage on your phone click on gear 360 make sure your gear 360 camera is on or else you won't be able to access any of the footage on the gear camera and so as you can see I it's a lot of footage you got there and select that video so this is the raw video file and you notice that it has two bubbles well there's two different recordings in one video and when it uh, when, you, when you send it send it to your phone it's going to auto stitch the 360 video into um, a format where youtube can see it as 360 video same thing goes for your pc when you transfer this video to your action director program it's going to auto stitch it so YouTube can recognize it as a virtual reality 360 video. So on your phone, if you want to edit it, you just click on trim. First, it's going to save it to your phone. Then you're able to actually trim it. All right, so now I can click on my mobile device. And there is the video right here. And you notice that it's no longer in double bubble mode. It's actually uh, auto-stitched and you can upload that to YouTube and view it um, as a 360 video. Or you could trim it using the um, video editor right here. This is not really a good video editor. You just move the um, bars 
left and right to um, cut whatever you want of the video. So once you're happy with your footage, then you can click on share and you can share as a compressed or original video file. You know, if you want to save data, then use the compressed option. And then you can share it um, on G+, and you can share it on YouTube, or if you have a Facebook app. I don't have a Facebook app on my phone, but you could do that as well. And I'm going to show you this live view mode. And right here. So now you can see this is the live view mode. Pretty cool. You could change your mode. That's single lens mode. And you could do video mode right here. Now it's in video mode. Uh, click that and you'll change it to dual lens right here. Now it's in 360 mode. And you could click on two seconds if you want to record with a timer. You could click on this to change the resolution. Okay, so now let's go ahead and connect it to my PC. And then you should have that icon right here. All right, so I have the Gear 360 camera turned on. The USB cable is plugged into the camera to the PC, and I should be able to find the videos from the camera under this PC. And then you want to go to Devices. Under Devices, Gear 360, Card, DCIM folder, Photos. And the file with the highest number is your last video recording. This, is, this should be it right here, though. Let's drag that onto my computer. And you can't edit you know, your videos from your camera, so keep that in mind. And also keep in mind that if you remove the micro SD card while the camera is turned on, you can corrupt some of the video files. That's why I use um, the USB cable to transfer the videos to my computer. It's safer that way. All right, so let's go ahead and now get the program. Um, so. Go to Google Chrome or your web browser and you want to download Samsung Gear 360 Act Action Director app. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get this app. It's a free program if you have the product key code that came with the Samsung Gear 360 camera. So do not throw out that small piece of paper with the product key code. You're going to need that to auto stitch your 360 videos. All right, I already downloaded it, so let's go ahead and go to my programs gear 360 action director you want to open up that program you can edit HD videos or your 360 videos at this point you put in the product key code which I already did and open up the 360 editor okay and it'll give you a sampler so this one at one time had two images and it stitched it together and this is your end result right here which is pretty cool and you can zoom in and out. All right, so now let's go ahead and drag that um, video in. So here's the video. I'm gonna drag it into the workspace. And notice it'll say um, right here, zero percent. Right now it's auto stitching the 360 video as we speak. And it's at 10%. And where it's heading to, I'll show you where it's going to. Under, let me see, under documents right here. And then you want to go to Cyberlink, Action Director, Version 1, 360 folder. And here is all the finished 360 stitched videos. All right, so what you want to do is drag the video file into the timeline. If you want to edit it, click on Music. If you want to add music, and click on the plus to go into your music folder. And click on a select uh, MP3. Then if you want to favor more toward the video audio, you slide it to the right. If you want to favor it more toward the music, slide the slider to the left where it says more music. And you can click on fade out and hit OK to add it to the video. Now if you want to edit or delete uh, a middle section of the video, what you want to do is you want to click on split on the left right here. And once you click on split, it's going to split it to the beginning of the clip that you want to delete. And then you can pause it about a couple seconds after the clip that you want to delete. You want to select and highlight the clip that you want to trash. And click on the trash can. 
and it will delete that clip. And it's pretty easy. And you click on produce whenever you're ready. And when you click on produce, it's gonna um, bring up all the resolution and the format. And you wanna select the correct resolution. Uh, I have my recording is 1280p 60 frames per second so I selected 1280p 60p and then I live in, in the United States so I select uh, United States format and then the output folder I want to select that I want to set it to my desktop and I'm gonna relabel it 360 video so I know which one it is it's gonna go to my desktop hit save and whenever you're ready, click on start, and the end result is going to go is going to go to your desktop, and it's going to be 1280p, 60 uh, frames per second. And if you have a good computer, then it should process a render quite fast. All right, so I'm not going to save that; it's already done. I'm going to take the finished product, upload it to my YouTube channel. And just click on upload. Look for the file. It is a 360 video. I labeled it. And when it uploads, you want to set it to private until the video process um, in a 360 format and, and also uh, 1280p 60 frames per second. So even though it's completed and it's done and it's ready to upload to YouTube, it's going to take uh, a few more minutes for it to process into 360 mode where you can actually you know view it in 360 up down and pan it around and you notice right right away you can't do that so we're gonna have to wait a little bit and you click on the resolution you notice it's a 360p resolution it's really poor quality but it, after a couple minutes you hit refresh you'll notice that you're able to view it in 360 mode and you click on the gear resolution has increased from 360p resolution to um, 720p and 1080p right here and it'll go up to uh, 1280p 60 frames per second after you refresh it you know, a couple of minutes later if you guys are interested in the gear 360 with the SD card or the VR headset check out the links in the video description below if you know anyone that wants to upload 360 footage to their YouTube channel just click on the share button and share this video to them and if this video was really informative give me a big thumbs up